Hey guys, welcome to part 3. And I moved out of that hallway there because I realized uploading my part 2, or chapter 2, that I left a note back here. So, I'm gonna go get that. That's creepy. Trying to look at these paintings in a little bit more detail. And it's probably not the best idea. A lot of them are starting to look the same after a while. G come on, Oswald. Just, just, can you just <laughs> take the rifle, man? Come on. You know you want to. There you are. Come here, nope. Oh, hooray, it's all in German. Well, that's great. Subtitles. Wait. Now that wouldn't work. Oh, well. <laughs> Take a look here. Dysis Hearse. I think I'm saying that right. Schlaf, mein kind, schlaf, dein Hirsch klagt unter meiner Hand, und ich krieg dich in diesen offenen Wunden mein, dies ist Hirsch. I apologize for my terrible German accent, I'm probably pronouncing all, everything all sorts of wrong. Well, it was on a musical staff, maybe that'll come in handy later, possibly. Come to think of it, I've got one other hallway down here I didn't look at because it was creeping me out. Let's take a look over here. I think this goes outside, but I could be wrong. I can't turn this on, so... Did I just go in a circle again? I probably did. Okay, this is where the other door goes to. Okay. Oh, those are my footsteps. Oh, another note. I didn't see this here. Okay, December 20th, 1899. I am to have a visitor, the distinguished Professor A. Kind of simple. He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club, but I am not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon laceration, lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to find me, to doff and wheedle and, my dear sir, and, but you must still grieve, and, perhaps just a quick look, quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice. But to refuse... That would simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the tripery, see whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily vivisected whores, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of his golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. Ooh, Jack. I wonder who that is. Unless he's talking about the real Jack the Ripper, which would surprise me, because how would Mandis get in contact with somebody like that? Hoping it's, I'm thinking it's just a nickname, but now I'm very confused. Bathroom? Yes, another bathroom. About to say, can, oh, it's out. Uh, that's oh, that's how the toilet flushes. Silly me, thought it was another lever. Candle. I'm pretty sure this is another secret passageway. Probably in that room where the bear was. Oh, what's this? Huh. Eh. Or it could be right here. Ooh, 
there's blood all over there. I think I'll go in there in just a minute. Okay, this door is locked. Well, there's that at least. Okay, so I have a shortcut now. So I'll just cut through here. My goodness, it's windy. Okay, so I can just cut back through here. Okay, that goes to the machinery, which I kind of... Hissing. Okay, which I kind of don't want to do just yet. I'm going to look around a bit more. Um... Well, from what, I'm, I, what I've been able to figure out, it was clear, Lilibeth, um, who I've come to ascertain is Oswald's wife, was completely unaware of his creepy peeping acts. So, good, good for you, Oswald, you're a creeper. I'm not even really sure why you would need to do that, but... I mean, maybe it was just a perk. Maybe he was trying to spy on his own house guests or something, and he's just like, hey, my wife is taking a bath in here, so why not? Uh. It's like, really, really Oswald, really mature. Oh, this is the way I came in. The door just closed behind me. Silly me. So easy to get freaking lost in here. Okay. Bloody bathroom. Do I really want to? No, I don't, but I kind of have to, so... Here we go. bedroom cage. Is that my bedroom? There's something in the bed though. I, I can't see what it is. Oh shit, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, a bloody sledgehammer. That's, that's lovely. Okay, so maybe this all goes around in a circle. Maybe this is how I'm supposed to double back and go over places that I haven't been to. Oh, I found the machinery! Catwalk. Creepy tools. Blood all over the place. Dead mice. Or rats. Yeah, I think they're rats. Okay, let's see. I got the lighting going. Now I can see in here. At least there's some lights. Hello, broom. Treadmill. I know there's going to be monsters down there. I'm sure of it. Oh. I can... I wonder what this is for. I have no clue. Look like I could pick anything up. Hmm. Huh. I think I need to do some more snooping first.
Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a secret room. And the door's open. Oh, shit. I don't know. I couldn't even tell what was in that freaking bed, and I, I don't want to know. go out there. Oh boy. Okay. Gotta see. <sighs> oh shit. I let something out. I just know it. I totally did. I totally did, didn't I? Oh god. came out of that room. Something, it's up something horrible. Hands are bleeding, raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instructions? Are you thinking this, Oswald? Or am I just having flashbacks? Oh, I can turn lights on. I didn't know that. Okay. Makes me feel a little better. Book. I'll whine. Yeah, a lot of good that's going to do me. Oh, shit, paper. Oh, God. I know something terrible is going to happen when I read this. All right, let's... Here we go. Old Sally, a the doll's cottager. I'm guessing this is this is a weird children's song. I'm finding a lot of song lyrics. I'm guessing they've got to do with something. Okay, well this one's actually in English, so let's see. I don't know the tune. I've never heard this song, but here we go. Let's see. Oh, she come a, shuff, a snuffling by night round ye door with her pretty apron right down to the hoof, and her ringlets are fair, and her eyes china blue, like a half-buried hand in the wintry snow, like a hand in the wintry snow. And she'll beg you for apples through the window, through the window ajar, her face be all hidden, but her eyes shine aflame. And though you'll be tempted, her bosom so fair, she'll snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart. She'll catch you and eat out your heart. So look to your manners come the eve of the year, lest Sally comes calling for apples, my dear. And know that some doors never should open wide, take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make Sally her pies -o, and warm Sally's beastly insides. Oh, that's inviting. Really. And these closets are not doing anything for me, because I know that I can't open them. And that means that I can't hide in them. So that's just perfect. I am very tense right now. Well, at least I can, I can turn that light on. It's a, it's a little better. I bet I'm going to have to hide behind here.
Oh god. Yes, no. I'm gonna keep that wide open just in case I have to run back in here. Move that out of the way. Whoever came through here shut the door on me. Oh great, more blood. Something's close, I just know it. Okay, I, I better save. 